So right after I come out of the shower, I am not complaining about it. High risk equals high reward. Hello you guys, good morning. I hope you're all having a lovely day. So I'm currently going to a um, COVID test for the movie industry. And so I have to drive one hour away. It's about an hour, maybe a little even over an hour to get tested. So I'm just making sure that I'm going to the right place because it has happened before where I literally showed up at like the wrong place. And then you're like really confused and then you realize you typed in the address wrong and then it's just not fun. So I always like make sure to tr literally triple check. It's an hour and one minute away. Got the GPS on. I'm going to see if I can listen to a podcast. I love listening to podcasts while I drive um, instead of listening to music. Like I love listening to music. Don't get me wrong. But if you're going like on a long drive, podcast just hits different because it's like you're kind of like watching a YouTube video or you know what i mean it just like entertains you a little more rather than like just music i love music like it's such a vibe but at the same time if you're like going on a long drive podcast is definitely like my go-to there's like no new podcasts out right now though because everyone went on a break for like the beginning of january and the end of the year anyways i'm gonna leave before i am late because i have a 10 minute window it says i'm gonna it says i'm gonna arrive at 11 20 and I my test is at 11:30, so we're good. Let's go. Hello, guys. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick OOTD before I leave the house. I'm just wearing this set from White Fox. I'm literally obsessed with matching sets. Like they're so easy to throw on when you don't know what to wear. And I'm wearing this cute little shoulder bag. It's actually Madison's that she thrifted. And I got my hair sleeked back again because I'm kind of loving this, especially for greasy hair days. And it just like look makes you look really put together while you're wearing like a matching sweat set. I was rushing to get ready. But I will show you guys like a tutorial on how I do this little slick bag ponytail. Anyways, this is a little fit and we're, I'll let you guys know what we're doing once we hop in the car. Okay, so Madison wants to like decorate her room more because she's never really done that before. Like she's never really put money into her room at all, decorated anything. So she wants to like make it um, more her, I guess. Like, you know, spice it up. Um, so we're going shopping today for some plants for her room. We're gonna hit Michael's probably and I told her that Ikea would have some good things because Ikea just has like a lot of like nice basics but Ikea is like really far from where we live like it's literally like a 45 minute drive I would say so it's not like I don't know if we want to go all the way there today so it's probably not gonna happen but I'm just gonna browse around and see what we can find she wants to get some plants today by the way you guys if you've been following my channel for a while you know that i used to have like a money tree and then we brought it to like the nursery and then it like the guy said that like we just have to do these specific things because it was dying and then it ended up completely dying so i'm really sad about that because it was me and joel's anniversary plant so maybe i'll buy a new one today or maybe i'll buy one and then give it to him for our anniversary this year just so we can have a new one and like I don't know. It's, he said it because we overwatered it. Um, that you did overwater it. It wasn't even me though, okay? I'm honestly, sorry Joel, but I'm blaming this one on you because um, ever since he started watering it, it became overwatered. So anyways, I'm not going to get into it. It's fine. At the end of the day, just a plant. We can get a new one. But kind of sad. So I'm going to see what kind of money trees they have. Maybe I get a little bigger one. Or maybe we'll just wait until we have our own place to get one again. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, we're just picking up Madison's friend, Sadie, right now. And we're just gonna do some errands. Okay, but this is literally a fake orange tree and it's kind of cute. Like, it would give your space a bit of a spicy orange feel, you know? But I don't know how I feel about it because like the oranges are literally fake. Okay, this is what Madison is buying. She got a nice salt rock lamp. Show them a little cute. Are you only buying one? Yeah, because I don't want two yeah, big ones. I wanna find a small one too. A little cute vase. It has like a bit of a greeny it's a accent to it. It's a pot. It's a pot, not a vase. Okay, so we just went into Winners Mass. We got a couple of things, but right now she's in Starbucks and Sadie is just getting eat an energy drink from Savon. But I just wanted to quickly go on around here because I'm having like some thoughts 
in my head that's like been here since the morning and I just need to like let it go. Especially while no one is in the car because, you know, I just need to vent quickly. Well, we're alone in the car. So I just wanted to literally say that like, don't be afraid to take risks in your life because high risk equals high reward. And when you take these risks, let's say you want to drop out of school and start your own business or whatever it may be, when you want to take the risk, everyone is going to look at you like you're crazy. You're going to get so much backlash, whether it's from maybe your friends, your family or whatever. People are going to low-key like think that you're really stupid and think that like you're going on the wrong path. But literally, you can't listen to anyone, anybody but yourself in that situation and you got to realize that like you want to take this risk for a reason and literally life is way too short not to take risks. We're literally on this planet for the best case scenario hundred years best case scenario you can literally be on this planet for another year like you never know how long you're gonna be here for and that's why it's so important to do what you want in your life and take the risks because if you don't take risks then you're always gonna be your life is literally always gonna be like this and you're never going to push yourself you're never going to create new opportunities for yourself and taking risks is what is gonna lead you to the places you want to be in like literally high risk high reward and it's like everybody thinks like, oh, what can go wrong? Like this can go wrong. And you always have these thoughts in your head like, what if this goes wrong? And people are thinking around you like, oh no, like blah, blah, blah. But it's like, why does no one think what can go right? Like literally what can go right? Like why do we always have to ask ourselves the things that can go wrong? You literally have to just think of the things that can go right. And I guarantee you that it will outweigh the things that can go wrong definitely outweigh them so yeah th i just wanted to rant about that that like life is literally too short not to take risks not to believe in yourself not to do what you want because at the end of the day we're here for literally such a short period of time and who gives a shit like we're on this planet we're living our lives create your dream life like do what you literally want to do take those risks because if you don't then you're never gonna get anywhere you're never going to live out how you truly want to live and i feel like that's the worst regret that i'm always scared about is like being on my deathbed and thinking like shit like i didn't do anything with my life like i didn't take any risks i didn't venture towards what i want because i was scared but then at the end the, at the end of the day like there's really nothing to be scared about we're all gonna die we're literally not even gonna be here anymore at the end of our lives like our lives can be a year like i can die tomorrow i can die in 50 years like you don't know how long you're going to be here for that's so important that's why it's so important to do what you want in your life take those risks because it's so worth it so we are currently in triple tree and the lighting in here sadie notice it's so good like so, it's it's it the, so good it's the overhead plant lights that make it so nice oh there's pots there <laughs> it's exactly oh what it is. it's the same Price is the one I got. <laughs> Just like, uh, yeah. But anyway, so Madison's looking for plants, like I said before. Wow, look, look at the lighting in the camera. Like it's so good. Like it's so good. It's like these. The where can we get these? <laughs> Put these in my room. <laughs> get them from my house. It's these plant the lights. <laughs> For that little stuff. You guys, it makes me feel like I'm in a little tropical rainforest. And it's really setting the vibe. Like I feel like I need to get more plants. Like when I get my own house, we are getting plants. We're getting lots of plants because I feel like it literally sets the vibe. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at the color. Oh my god! Are you kidding, Madison? These are so pretty. They're so pretty. Oh my goodness! I really that like that so it's like slim thick. No, but like that <laughs> like is the, uh, so. Cute. Why does that remind me of a pineapple? It does. Oh, it does. Like, like an like upside down pineapple. Wait, bikini bottom. <laughs> or wait, or this one. Mm, I, I I think that one's like the, the one. Slim thick one. Yeah, the other one is the one. Okay. Why are these so cute? We need a bigger plant. That is so cute. Oh my god. Stop. Okay, and then we need. Literally, plants make me so happy. Like it's they're just very good calming. Vibes in here. They're therapeutic. Yeah, they're very therapeutic. <laughs> You guys, we are in PetSmart right now, and Sadie and Madison want to get two dwarf hamsters, and they want to co-parent. They want to co-parent. Yes. Two dwarf hamsters. They're so. And name them Tupi and Binu. Tupi, if you guys don't know, Tupi and Binu is like on Treehouse. 
growing up and we used to be obsessed with the show. You did not just say that. And they, they literally want to name them Tupi and Bino and co-parent two dwarf hamsters are literally this small. Exactly. I'll show you guys. Vote down below if they should do it because it's kind of funny. You guys, they're so small, you can't even see them. They're in the little house, but they're okay, they're literally like, not even kidding you, like that size. Are you guys gonna do it? Yeah, she promised me three months. She promised me three months guaranteed of co-parenting. Yeah. Of and then they're on you if they live for two years. Okay. I said that. That's are you okay with that? Yeah. Can fine. we get like? <laughs> okay. And I'll pay half of everything. My parents are gonna be so mad. Okay, Madison's gonna try. So oh my god! Wait, Madison. I'm literally filming this. Mom's gonna see this. I don't this. care. <laughs> My mom will be so mad. <laughs> this literally looks like a little kid's toy. Madison, I'm trying to say what you understand. Like having a hamster, like like this is a commitment. I know. So like are you aware? This is like yeah. having a little child. No, like having a it? baby. This looks small. Does it come with the hamster wheel? Uh, yeah, it does. Oh my god! <laughs> Like we're getting seven. Oh, guys, look, you can, you can connect all of the all little, of the little hamster village. Oh my god! Wait, does it? This is, look, what you is can literally connect getting? them through tubes. That is so funny. Does it come with a wheel? Why is that the best thing oh, I've ever seen around. all day? Oh, it comes with the water bottle. And the, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, I'm just coming along for the ride, mom. If you're watching this, I don't support it at all. Like, I didn't I didn't tell Madison to do this. She thought of this all by herself. What? Oh my god! See? Oh my god, it's literally what it can fit in its food bowl. <laughs> Michaela, see that's that is Beanu. They like bite us. That's what they don't, they don't. Comment down below if you guys have a hamster <laughs> because I feel like nobody has hamsters anymore. Hey guys, what is up? So I'm going out once again. I was just like sitting down editing this morning. Um but me and Madison are going out because it is actually my dad's birthday tomorrow. And Madison wants to make a cake. So we're going out to the grocery store just to get some ingredients, run a couple errands. This is my little fit. I decided to put on a nice bright orange sweatshirt today, just with some sweatpants, keeping it comfy. Why can't I talk? Keeping it comfy as usual. Yeah? Where are you? What? Wanna swap for a bit? Blue light glasses? Yeah, they're blue light. Why? I don't know, I just wanna wear your black ones, but you can wear those while I wear you back. Okay, let's see how they look. What do we think, you guys? My other ones are black because I like wearing blue light glasses while editing because if I don't wear them, my eyes feel strained because I'm staring at a computer screen like literally for most of the day. So blue light glasses are definitely good for staring at a screen all day, especially if you work on your computer or you're on your phone even often or your computer. Definitely look into getting a pair of blue light glasses. Honestly, these like the ones I, I have, I got from Amazon, they're literally $15. So it's not really um, expensive and it's definitely a good investment for, you know, your health and your strain, your eye strain. They can help with sleep. Anyways, what was I even saying? Um, yeah, so we're going out, doing some errands. Also, the sun just came out. It's been literally gloomy all day. The sun just poked out, so I don't think I've seen the sun in literally, like, I don't even know, but it's been so long. Like, wow, it is actually a blue sky. Like, you can see the blue. Oh my god, that makes me so happy. But anyways, me and Madison are going out, and when we get back, we're going to do a little bit of productive things, like clean my room. It's not even messy at all, like, it's really not. It's just, like, a couple of things on the floor that I want to tidy up. So, when we get home, we'll do that, but we're going to go out right now. Okay, Madison's taking a long time, I'm just waiting for her. So, in the meantime, I thought that I would show you guys what I do for my hair care routine. It's really nothing special. I washed my hair last night, and I forgot to like say anything so i'm just gonna show you guys now because i did get a comment about it um basically if you guys didn't know i have a keratin treatment done to my hair which is basically a smoothing treatment and what it does is like my natural natural hair in its natural state is like very curly and frizzy like it's like literally like out here frizzy curly and it's very hard to manage like it's very thick and just to straighten it in its natural state takes me like an hour at least like it takes so long um but now that i have the keratin treatment done i got it done like three months ago and it's still going strong um just like the roots are gr growing out now so i have about like this much of like my root that comes out curly after i take a shower and frizzy but like it's not a big deal because it's just the root so it doesn't take as long to straighten anymore um anyway so if you guys didn't know i do have a keratin treatment done to my hair the next time i get it done i'm going to document it again um so you guys can see the process and everything but 
anyways so that helps my hair a lot because i don't have to use heat on it as often and it just like helps it look more shiny and everything um and it's just literally the best thing that i've ever done to my hair like i do not have one regret it was expensive but it makes my life so much easier like i don't have to worry about like spending time on my hair after i take a shower every time i wash it it's just so freeing knowing that i can just leave my hair air dry and it's gonna look okay um so anyways, literally the best thing I've ever done. So right after I come out of the shower, like when my hair is wet, I use this Olaplex, um, I think this is called number six, Bond Smoothing Treatment. So this is basically like a leave-in conditioner and I love this stuff so much. It makes my hair so soft. And as you can see, I don't really have that much left because Madison bought this for me almost a year ago now. So this has actually lasted me a long time. This is expensive but i honestly think that it's worth it because it does last a long time like this lasted me the whole year and i still have more left so definitely worth the investment for my hair and right after i come out of the shower before i put the olaplex in i actually comb out my hair with this wide tooth comb and i think i just got this from like the drugstore like it's really nothing special so come out of the shower i brush it and then i put my olaplex on and that's literally all that i do for my like after um, shower hair care as of now and as for shampoo these are the ones that i'm using right now this is by evita after i got my keratin treatment done i switched to more natural shampoo that didn't have any sulfates or anything in it that was like good quality ingredients because if you use good quality shampoo it's going to prolong your keratin treatment so that's why i switched over instead of buying drugstore um shampoo conditioner i switched over to buying better quality good ingredients so this is the brand that i use and i just got it from a hair salon um i think you can also get these online they were um, very pricey, but they have been lasting me a long time. Like this has lasted me three months and I'm not even done the bottles, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, that's what I use for shampoo. And honestly, one of my biggest tips for washing your hair, this has literally changed the game for me. So when I wash it, I'll put like a bit of shampoo, I'll wet my hair obviously, and then I'll put a bit of shampoo and then I'll like lather it in my hair and wash it. Okay. Then I'll rinse the shampoo out and then I'll take another dose of shampoo, a little tiny bit, and then um double shampoo it but the second time you shampoo it it lathers up so nicely and it like feels like i'm actually thoroughly cleaning my hair like i can't do just one shampoo anymore because it does not feel like i'm cleaning my hair properly so if you guys have never tried shampooing your hair twice definitely try it like it's been a game changer for me it just makes my hair feel so much more clean and better and trust me the second time you put the shampoo into your hair it'll lather so nice get nice and foamy and it'll like help spread it be better and just like better overall like that's probably the best stuff that i have Okay, so we just got to Walmart and it's literally sunny like I just I know I already told you guys But like I just can't get over the fact that it's actually sunny because I haven't seen a sunny day for I don't know how long to be honest, but it's been like a while because I feel like the last day it was sunny That's when I was sick. So I was just in bed all day and I couldn't really enjoy the sun But it's literally sunny and it, it was like gloomy all day and then the sun randomly just decided to come out But I am not complaining about it. I hope there's a nice sunset tonight Oh, that's what I miss about the summers is being able to go out and watch the sunset like we would watch the sunset literally almost every single day in the summer because it's just so beautiful I honestly wish that I lived like near a beach like that's the goal um, eventually is living on a beach um, where you can watch the sunset like oh my goodness that would just be a literal dream but the closest like beach to us like actual beach ocean is like an hour away so it's like it's like not that bad but still like it's not like you can just like go there in five minutes and watch the sunset anyways so i posted a tiktok and the stupid thing about tiktok is that you know how you can choose like whether you want your video to be 15 seconds or 60 or something like that the auto mode is like 15 seconds but then once you start recording your video it won't let you record past 15 seconds and i think that's so stupid like that you have to choose how long you want your video be to be like i just don't get why you can't extend it after you choose the 15 seconds it, like it just doesn't make sense anyways but i did post a little tiktok if you guys want to go follow me it's just like my name i have it always in the description and i just posted a little um makeup montage thing i want to honestly start posting uh, more little cute tiktoks and maybe venture to instagram reels because i know that that's how people are growing their instagram account nowadays and i kind of want to start posting more on instagram i know i always say this to myself that i'm going to but like i actually want to because last year was just like focus on youtube 1000 percent but i kind of want to start like maybe posting a few cute little reels on instagram but we'll see i do have like two reels that's like on my instagram but they're more of like a montage of just like videos but 
I don't know. We'll see. I kind of want to venture and try out posting like little cute reels and um, more cute little TikToks. <laughs> got out of grocery shopping I got myself a vitamin water this is my favorite flavor it's the I think it's the lemonade one yeah it's the lemonade one and it's infused with vitamin a zinc you know we love it and we were just like really thirsty so yeah I just wanted to show you guys my vitamin water all right before I end off this video I like randomly was thinking and I'm like I didn't never like Sorry, I'm literally sitting on the top of the TV here, a little squeak, it's because that. But I realized that, like, um, I showed you guys these glossy blushes that I got, and I never give you guys an update. I was like, yeah, like, I'll update you guys how I like them, and then I never did, so this is going to be your update. <laughs> um, because I literally, like, when YouTubers say that kind of stuff, like, I wait, I wait for the update, so I just wanted to update you guys in case you were waiting for it, because I feel so bad if you actually were. So, we're going to update you now, you know, it's never too late. Better late than ever. There you go. Um, anyways, I really, really, really love them. Especially, okay, especially this darker color. Now, they're very pigmented, so you have to be careful of how you apply them. I'm going to literally show you guys right now um, just over my makeup that I already have on because I'm going to take it off anyways. I'll show you guys the light one first because um, this one is not as, like, dark, whatever. So this is in the shade Puff. And it's a very just, like, nude, I mean light pink um this is really similar to the rare beauty color that i got um but it's a little bit like brighter i would say so you guys can see it's just like a light like you know regular blush pink it's really cute but i honestly especially love this color um this one it's called eve and at first i was skeptical because it's literally like looks purple kind of like it's so dark but trust me i will show you guys exactly what it looks like it is so pretty I gave this to Madison and I was like, you have to try it, but she puts two, she like lathered it on and then it was hard for her to blend out because she, it's so pigmented and she put way too much on, but you literally just have to put like the tiniest bit, okay, do a little three dot moment and then so pretty um, and as you guys know, I've been literally obsessed with makeup especially blush lately so yeah i just thought that i would update you guys on these gl little glossy blushes they actually like have a lot of product in them and i don't think they're like that expensive like i feel like they're like maybe 18 20 dollars each which is a good price for like a lot like this will literally last me forever anyways love them 10 out of 10 oh so i realized i literally got this too this is their um solar paint it's their cream bronzer and i love it so much like it's so easy to blend out and like apply the only thing that i wish was different was the applicator i wish it was more like see i was just like a stick like i wish it was more i'll show you i wish it had more of like a this type of applicator where it was like more strong versus like this is the applicator is kind of flimsy on this one um, but anyways, other than that, the product is great and Glossier, I really like the products because I told you guys I'd update you on that and the Glossier products, love them. I, they're just like simplistic, they're aesthetic and yeah, 10 out of 10 would totally recommend. Yeah, so I just wanted to end the video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys literally so much and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.